Hey there, I'm Viviana, a senior consultant here at Mayan Technologies. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create a new fiscal year in Apicor Kinetic ERP. If your business is preparing up for the next financial year, this video will show you just how easy it is to set up your fiscal year. A fiscal calendar in Epicor defines how your company handles financial reporting. It can be flexible in terms of start dates, periods, and durations. So whether your fiscal year runs from January to December or something unique like October to September, you can set it up to match your business needs. It's also key to remember that fiscal years in Epicor cannot overlap and there cannot be any gaps between years. So now let's dive into how to set it up. To get started, head over to Financial Management, General Ledger, Setup, and Fiscal Calendar. If you are using Epicor Kinetic like me, you can also use the Smart Search feature to quickly find a menu. Once you are in, select the fiscal calendar that you're using. For me, it's going to be main. Now, we're going to create a new fiscal year. In order for you to see the current fiscal years into your fiscal calendar, you can open the panel below so you can see the list of fiscal years that currently make up your calendar. Over here, you can click the plus sign so you can create a new one, which will open a row below for you to enter the data. You can enter your information here, or you can navigate to the Fiscal Year Details page for a better view. The system will automatically default to the next available fiscal year. So if your company uses a fiscal year suffix, this is where you will enter this information. The suffix helps distinguish between fiscal years and keep things organized, especially if you're running financial reports across multiple years. Now let's define the start and end dates for this fiscal year. I'm going to keep it simple and select this as a regular calendar year. So from January 1st, 2025 to 12th 31st, 2025. Next thing for me will be the number of periods. Most companies follow the standard 12th period year, but if your business uses a different structure, you can adjust that here. Also, don't forget to enter the number of closing periods. Typically, this is either 0 or 1, depending on how your company handles end-of-year adjustments. Remember that a closing period will act as a phantom 13th period that can only be used throughout the journal entry screen and will be automatically defaulted to the last day of your fiscal year. This is commonly used to register year-end adjustments and keep these records separated from day-to-day -day transactions. Once everything looks good on this screen, click Save so you can lock everything in. You'll get a warning just for you to remember that if you're making a change in the fiscal calendar structure, you might need to run the verify balances process, or in this case, given that I'm adding a new fiscal year, the transfer balances process so I can move over my balances to my new fiscal year. Hit yes to the warning. And now let's generate the periods. Click the three dots at the top so you can select the generate periods action you'll see that it automatically defaults to the end date that you selected in your fiscal year and it gives you some parameters for you to select the length of the periods. In this case, it defaults to one period duration for a month. So I'm going to leave the default, but you can also see the drop down to select days, weeks, and change the end date if needed. Once you confirm your selection, hit generate. The system will give you a confirmation on how many fiscal periods were created. And you can take a look at these fiscal periods by opening the panel for fiscal period. You'll see that the system is automatically generating one fiscal period per month as indicated. If you want to manually enter the periods instead of generating them automatically, that's totally an option too. 
just input the dates manually for each period. Click the plus sign and make sure that you select a correct end date. And that's it! You've successfully created a new fiscal year in Epicure. Pretty simple, right? Before you go, here are a couple of quick tips. Make sure to double check your start and end dates to avoid any gaps between fiscal years. Also, if you're dealing with a non-standard fiscal calendar, ensure that your number of periods reflects your unique reporting structure. Thank you so much for watching. If this tutorial helped you, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Epicure tips and tricks. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or reach out to us at Mayan Technologies. See you in the next video.